Hi guys, today we're gonna check out iOS 14.3 Beta 1 and 2 on the iPhone SE. So the first change right here is when we go inside the settings application and if you scroll all the way to Safari and go inside search engine settings and we would see here a new option for Ecosia. So if you're not familiar with Ecosia, Ecosia is just like any other search engine out there except 80% of their profit goes to communities that go ahead and plant trees. So you're helping a community and helping the environment. So with that being said, let's go ahead and set Ecosia as our default search engine. And let's go ahead and go to Safari and do a sample search. For our example, we'll be doing a search with potato. And here we go. Here we have Ecosia as the search engine. For the next update, this requires you to have an Apple Watch. So if you do have an Apple Watch paired with your iPhone, and you are running watchOS 7.2 or above, and you are around 20 years old or older, you could get this feature. And if you are, you could just open your health application and scroll all the way down till you see a section named Cardio Fitness Levels. And you could just tap there the setup button and you just need to confirm your details and it would give you some useful information regarding the factors that affect your cardio fitness and about understanding your cardio fitness levels. And if you're all good, you could just turn on the low cardio fitness notifications for your Apple Watch. Which is quite useful, so for instance, you are doing some cardio exercise, you could get those notifications. Keep in mind that this works with the iPhone SE, it just happens that my Apple Watch SE is paired with my iPhone 11. The next update that we got is inside the music application. So if we open the music application right here, and you go ahead and search for a playlist or even just check out the existing playlist that you are listening to, you might encounter a revamp banner for that playlist. Like you can see right here on today's chill, we do get a full width banner. And if we scroll down, you can see how it collapses. And right here, we also see here a nice animated artwork here on the top, which is quite nice that you could see a visual representation on the mood of the music that you're about to listen to. And there are three known playlists that have been revamped. So the other one is Always Sunday. So you could just check that out. And right here, you could see that the man right here is moving. And the last playlist known is the Global Hits. As you can see, the artwork rotates. How about you guys? Have you seen other playlists that have been revamped? Please let us know in the comment box below. The next update that we have is for you guys who likes to watch music videos on Apple Music. So when playing a music video, you now get a full edge-to-edge -edge display. And if you change it to landscape mode, you now get the standard video player which is used across apps, similar to the one that we use in Apple TV. So in the TV app, if you play a video, you get that same standard full edge-to-edge -edge display. And if you change it to landscape mode, you can see we have that nice clean video player. Unlike before, we just get this rounded corner view to play the music video. And if we do it on landscape mode, here we have the old controls, which might actually end up blocking the music video. But speaking of Apple TV, Let's go back to the application and as you can see right here, if we do scroll up, we now get updated tint colors for Apple TV. As you can see previously, it was blue but now we get this nice white tint. Now if we go back, you can see now we do get a recently search view for Apple TV. Unlike before, it just looks like this. So the redesigned search is somewhat similar to the music application. So moving on to the next update, if we search a keyword on the TV application, we now get a set of filters right here on the top, similar to the ones that we get on the Apple Music application. And also, we do get a new revamp search landing page on the TV app, which is also similar to the one that we get here on the Music application. 
the next update that we have is inside again settings so if we open settings and if we scroll all the way down to camera settings and we go to record video you will see here a toggle to show PAL format and if we turn that on the new formats would be there on the top which we could always access using the camera application so if you go into camera go to video and switch here let's go to 25 frames per second as you can see we could now access that which we could always set it as our default here on the camera settings now moving on to the next update for you shortcut fans we do get back the set wallpaper shortcut so if you search here your wallpaper you can see that we have the set wallpaper shortcut now enabled right here also according to the change logs that there are some new filters available in apple arcade so if you are subscribed to apple arcade you could just check that out moving on to the next update so previously on beta 1 there was this toggle to improve fitness that wasn't yet ready as you can see from the lorem ipsum text but on beta 2 they decided to remove that as you can see right now lastly running a performance test on the iphone se so for our first test we'll be using geekbench so running a test using geekbench we do get a score of 1321 for single core and 2114 for multi-core wherein running another test using antutu benchmark we do get the score of 268,000 for the 4 for the iPhone SE. So that is it guys. Those are some of the changes and new features of iOS 14.3 beta on the iPhone SE. How about you guys? Which update are you looking forward to have now? Or if you have other questions regarding this update, please let us know in the comment box below. As always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more. Thank you.